One more important virtue of factors is it allows you to get a quick overview of your data. And it does this by using these levels to essentially work as bins um, to collect all of your records. So I mentioned earlier with respondent floor type that even though each house has a different value in that field, you can essentially group them all into either cement, earth, or one of the other uh, levels of that factor. So if we use this in conjunction with the plot function, then you can essentially see this uh, represented as a bar graph. Um, so let's actually, to, to do this, we're gonna create a new variable called member association. This is another field from our data set. And in order to extract that field, we're gonna use interviews followed by the dollar sign. And like subsetting, the dollar sign is basically a way of just referencing a specific uh, variable or, or column name from your data. And we're gonna write here member association. Okay, when we do this, it basically pulls out that entire column and stores it in a new vector variable here. Now the next thing that we need to do is convert this to a factor. I mentioned earlier that this is stored just as a vector of the character uh, data type. So we're gonna use the as factor function here and throw in member association. Again, I'm just rewriting this variable, reassigning the assignment operator. Okay. So let's go ahead and take a look at the contents of that variable. When we do that, you can see that we have basically a collection of null values and yeses and nos. And now we're gonna use the plot function to view this as a bar graph. And when I do this, uh, you should now see your plot being created in the plots tab in that bottom right window. Okay, and this will happen anytime you create a visualization, a graph um, in your code here, it'll use this plots tab to, to, to display that. And you can see here now that um, our yeses are about 30, whereas our nos looks like it's about uh, 65 or so, okay? So again, a way to just kind of quickly view um, how these records are falling into those two bins. Now, what if we also wanted to display the NA values? We can do this by recreating our variable. Okay, so we're gonna create the, the vector again. So now member association, uh, rather than having that uh, factor, being a factor variable, it's now uh, back to being a vector of the character data type. And now we're going to use the square brackets to extract all of the null values. Okay, and we're gonna do that using the isNA function. So this is gonna be embedded now in our square brackets. And then we're going to reassign all of those values to a new, uh, basically a store a new value in those locations. Say under here, I say uh, determined. So what this is doing is it's writing this new um, character value here to all the records that are in A, or all the, the cells that are in A in that member association vector. And once you do that, you can check now 
member association that instead of those NAs, now everything is a character data type. Our yeses, nos, and undetermined are all um, actual values. They're not just nulls. The last thing that we need to do is again, convert this to a factor. Then put that in the plot. Okay. And now you can see here that no's, yeses, and we have this new category of undetermined in the middle here. All right, that wraps up the content for this lesson. Um, there are some additional exercises at the end on page 34 in the PDF. Um, we encourage you to check those out to get some additional practice. And then when you're all set, uh, go ahead and click on that next video um, to continue with the series.